Peace, what's going on? It's your boy C.Versy, back for another segment of the Talking To Myself podcast. Uh, so right now, I want to um, expand on my New Year's Eve theme and just kind of explain what it's like being a rapper over 30. Because uh, there is a big difference in being like a teenage rapper, a rapper in your 20s, and where I'm at now. So I just want to break down what life is like for me as a rapper who is uh over 30 who's now 37 uh shows my shows are different my shows are different i'm not i don't do as many clubs uh as i used to i do more lounges bars and grills uh things with like an older crowd things that are more laid back and not dj dependent they it is really dependent on the performer uh because people are really just coming to drink when you go to a club people are coming for the dj and to to meet people and to dance and drink but when it comes to these like lounges and these bars the people are coming for the sounds they're coming for the entertainment uh so i've done i've been doing less clubs and doing more lounges bars and grills and that side of things um consistent releases i started this year off being more consistent i kind of fell back during the summer uh with kids being out of school but being more consistent is super key in this day and age, no matter what age you are, because the mindset of the consumer is very here today, gone tomorrow. What have you done for me lately? Out of sight, out of mind. So uh, consistently putting out music so that they have something to listen to after they listen to your last song, last album, whatever. Because uh, we people have their headphones in all day listening to music podcasts whatever so uh after your album is done they want some more shit so either you've got more music for them or the algorithm is going to feed them other artists that are like you so just being consistent i've noticed other artists around my age range have been releasing uh more albums more consistently and that's just because when you get to this point in this age you honestly should have your own studio uh, whether it's at home or at a uh, production space, wherever. As long as you've got your own studio, you should be able to get up and go record when you feel like it, when you get to this age. Um, gone are the days of me getting up and paying for pockets of studio time, like four hours here, four hours there, eight here. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a wrap. Um, I need the ability to get up and record way more consistently than uh, a few hours blocks of time uh, so I'm in a studio two to three days a week and that's because I own uh, my studio <clears throat> uh, when I before having and opening my own studio I was not the guy who was good at buying studio time um, having my own studio helps me be way more consistent with my releases and just getting a better understanding of of my sound. I've definitely gotten way better with my mixing just because I can sit there and take my time with it. Uh, so the way that my songs sound at the first half of my career versus how they sound now is way different in the terms of quality of mixing uh, and my delivery, those two things alone. And that's just because I've had the time to consistently work on my writing and my recording and delivery and things of that nature so if i was as someone who was recording every once in a while writing every once in a while things would not have advanced to this point uh so for you younger artists man record 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 write 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 put out put out put out all the music um things that i'll never have to do again are a and r showcases i'll never have to do another a and r showcase um i have a distribution deal with empire i don't use it much sometimes i'll use some other distribution angles um but i'm way too old to be trying to do a and r showcases like i'm not looking for a deal i'm not looking to be signed like i've already got my own situation like i run my own shit like i book my own shows i do all of my own marketing i run radio campaigns i know how to run ads because i've done all that stuff for other artists the only thing i need is distribution and i have that with empire one of the well, the biggest independent distributor in the game right now so um 
if I didn't know how to do all that stuff myself and if I didn't have a good distributor uh, like Empire, I would be shit out of luck for sure. I would be just, there would be no difference between me and a SoundCloud rapper, honestly. And I'm so far removed from being uh, a SoundCloud artist or an artist that's not just trying to get signed that life is just different for me. Like I, I tour when I want to, I release when I want to, and that's just the way it is. When you look at your some of your favorite artists, where they are now compared to where they were when they were younger, look at like a a Schoolboy Q, Kendrick Lamar, uh, a Joey Badass. Um, uh, or if we're going newer, like even like a Larry June, like or a Currency, um, or Wiz Khalifa, like the things that you, you once you have, once you understand like what your following is, there's just certain things that you don't have to do again. You don't have to play the same game that the younger artists have to play. Like Bobby Smyrna going up to, I think it was Epic, uh, and dancing on the desk to get his deal. Like I am not going to do that. I do not have to do that. Uh, so I'm very happy for that. It would suck to be this age and never have reached the things that I have reached. Um, I feel like I've achieved everything I want to achieve. So my only job now, honestly, is to make the music and move into the songwriting beat maker space. Um, but I would feel so washed um, and like a failure, honestly, if I didn't achieve the things that I achieved already. So I feel really good about myself as an artist. Um, and I'm getting into the space where there's more and more artists around my age range to build up um, things with. So getting more familiar with artists who are around my age range and other areas like the Griseldas um, and so forth who do this independent older thing that we are doing. Because um, we know that our people that are into our music are all just getting older. Like Jay-Z continuing to do music at 50 something is a sign that our there is room for us as we get older. And let's take it off of Jay-Z because obviously he is the top of the top. But you can even go somewhere like a, a young MC or a Tom Lope. There is somewhere for you if you hit the, the certain notches and milestones in your career early on. There is shit for you. Um, just And finally, just to wrap this up, uh, just being more of an exec. Being less of an uh, artist and being more of an exec is my goal moving forward in my 30s. Uh, put more energy into my son and and show these other artists what they need to do you know use my mistakes as learning lessons and get to the bag faster that's that is the thing that i want to teach young artists is like yo it's not what you think it is here's what it really is now go and get to the bag um and let's do business and that's all i want to do i just want to help artists get to their next spot while still doing my thing on the side for the people that are into it. And I am happy about that. I got to this over this last week or so, I've really taken the time to mentally think and appreciate where I am in music. Like I get up and I go to my office or I go to my studio and that my day is pretty much revolving around the uh my business with the obsession of with the it ah with the exception of the time that it takes me to do my uber east deliveries all i do all day is music and there is a i appreciate the luxury and the freedom in that because i remember when i was doing shit like working in warehouses or being a security guard and uh just doing shit that didn't allow me the freedom to make my music and do my shows and build my business. So I have to expand on, on the work that I've already done and just take everything to the next step and get everyone else familiar with Best Coast Entertainment and what we do and how we can help you. So it'll be less about me, the artist, and more about the brand. Uh, like 
you guys see my face but don't really know that I rap. So I've got to find a way to mix the rap with the brand. And uh, by releasing more music, that'll give me more music to use on like a TikTok or Instagram reel, YouTube, so on and so, uh, so, on and so forth. Like if I'm going to be making a bunch of these reels, it's important that I have the material out there to tag and incorporate into these videos. So when people go to my reel that's getting thousands and thousands of plays, they see my song as tagged, they can click it and use it in their shit. That is so important. Uh, but that's exec shit. Um, that is all. I don't want to bore you guys with any more details. And I actually want to get out of here and get to the studio right now. Uh, so that's it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Or am I just talking to myself? Peace.